Hey folks, I'm Shrey Vidya and welcome back to my channel Vidya's Vegetarian Kitchen. I hope you all like the Thai coconut noodle soup that I shared last week. And today I'm going to share yet another popular soup recipe and it's the Moncho soup. And I'm going to show you how to make it quickly in instant pot. Let's get started right away. So the instant pot is in the saute mode and now I'm adding one tablespoon of sesame oil. You can add peanut oil also. And now to this I'm adding 25 grams of chopped green onions, just the white part. You can reserve the green part to garnish later. Actually it's one bunch of green onions. Now I'm adding uh, two garlic cloves chopped and one uh, green chili and five grams of ginger. Actually, the garlic cloves are approximately 8 grams. And, um, you know, we love spicy moncho soup. So, I'm adding green chilies. And later, I'm going to be adding um, uh, ground pepper and green chili sauce as well. But you can adjust the measure as per your taste preference. Now, let's just saute this and add the veggies. Here, I have 2 cups of veggies. These are uh, green bell peppers. Just 2 tablespoons of green bell peppers. You don't need more than that. So green bell peppers, some carrots, uh, mushrooms, green beans and cabbage. All are uh, slightly finely chopped vegetables. I'm just adding them all. Now let's add salt. It's two teaspoons of salt and ground pepper. It is little lesser than half teaspoon and just mix them all it looks super colorful right you can use veggies of your choice and there is no set measure okay now let's add all the sauces here i have two tablespoons of uh, dark soy sauce i personally like dark soy sauce for this soup but you can use the regular one also in that case reduce the salt amount as light soy sauce is salty now it's a little over half tablespoon of vinegar and now one and a half tablespoon of green chili sauce. You know, uh, I have tried making this soup with uh, red chili sauce as well. Uh, both works great. Uh, you can adjust the measure as per your taste. Now mix them all. And now it's the time for the liquid. Here I have two cups of vegetable broth and two cups of water. I just mix them both together. I'm using the store-bought low-sodium vegetable broth. You can use homemade one also. Now mix the soup. Uh, you know, here we are using soy sauce and uh, store-bought vegetable broth. All are uh, pretty high in the sodium content. So adjust the salt accordingly. And now uh, let's pressure cook this soup. I'm just going to pressure cook this for two minutes and release the pressure quickly after uh, 10 to 12 minutes actually. So the pressure cooking part is complete and it's been uh, 12 minutes. I'm going to release the remaining pressure quickly. And here you go. It smells so good and I can't wait to try it. But I know we need to add some slurry. Set the instant pot back in saute mode and here I have 2 tablespoons of corn flour mixed with 2 tablespoons of water and I'm going to add it to the soup. Uh, this corn flour slurry helps to uh, thicken the soup. So now add it to the soup and mix it. And now let's add some cilantro and the green part of the green onions. And now let's add that as well and uh, let the soup simmer for about 5 to 7 minutes. Usually for moncho soup, we add some fried noodles. And today I'm going to use uh, store-bought fried noodles for this soup. And uh, this is the brand that I'm using, chow mein, fried chow mein noodles. I will add the link in the description. You can skip the noodles and make it a uh, light soup also, you know. You can customize it according to your preference. It's been simmering for about 7 minutes and I'm going to turn off the instant pot and let it rest for a few minutes. And here you go. The soup is ready folks. 
spicy moncho soup just perfect for this weather i'm going to serve it now it's so am and the smell is absolutely delicious i'm going to add some fried noodles and this part is completely optional and here you go moncho soup do give this moncho soup a try and don't forget to share your thoughts and feedback in the comment section and i'll see you all soon with a new soup recipe thank you